Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows. I want to talk about a game called Until You Fall, give you my impressions and show you a let's play because this title was free this weekend on the Oculus Store and it ends on Monday morning at 8am. So if you're watching this and you haven't managed to try this out, you can pick it up for only $20 on the store which I think is incredibly reasonable after playing this game I think it's great so the game until you fall is a roguelike hack and slash arcade styled virtual reality game from shell games and that's shell with a C it received the best visual award from upload VR in the year-end ceremony and I have to agree the game is full of bright colors it looks incredible and the colors actually become a very important factor of the game's gameplay so you travel through stages taking on hordes and hordes of enemies that get progressively more difficult and then you face off against a boss once you hit a certain milestone. Something very familiar in classic arcade style games. You do get a full body, not some floating arms as well, that deepens the immersion in this very, very fleshed out hand to hand combat system. And so you know what's going on in this gameplay I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you a little explanation on the combat system because it can look a little complicated if you're just watching the footage for the first time. So you have two weapons, usually a heavy in your right hand and a light one in your left hand that you can activate by holding down the grips. Each of these also have a special ability if you hold down the trigger and this can be additional damage, freeze them in time, anything that kind of benefits your offense or defense. This game has nailed absolutely nailed the close hand-to-hand -hand combat. You have a dash ability that allows you to dash into the enemy, knocking them off guard, and then dashing back if you want to evade attacks as well. You can then attack the enemy, slashing away like crazy to make them vulnerable. And you'll know when they are because there is a guard break in bright orange on them. You can then deal critical hits by slicing the angle that's presented to you. Whilst trying to do this as well, the enemies will be fighting back. It's not going to be an easy job. So you have to block with your weapons where there is a blue highlighted area. And not only that, when there's heavy attacks that you are unable to block, you have to evade. Arrows will appear on screen. You have to dodge by leaning left, right, or ducking. And it's a combination of all of this madness, attacking, special abilities, blocking, dodging out of the way physically, that you just get lost in the game. You get hyper-focused, and it becomes very, very addictive. So enough chin wagging, let's just check this out for ourselves. I think this game is brilliant. It's simple, stunning, and the best close hand-to-hand -hand combat mechanics that I think I've ever experienced in virtual reality. I'm over the moon playing this game. So let's check it out. What is it doing? Is it 
ascending to the Aether Bloom? Never mind. Questions for later. Kill that abomination champion! <laughs> it seems you've wounded more than just its pride. Pursue it deeper into the forest before it can recover. Absorb the bloom and continue, champion. We're closer to the city now. It looks like the Calamity has had more time to strengthen these ones. that's it for me today guys i hope you've enjoyed the gameplay footage if you're watching this before monday morning download it right now and try it for free and if you have not i do recommend this title i think it was brilliant so stick around for next time guys happy gaming good day